Greetings, I'm Malin, and today I wanted to talk about getting in my own way. I think it's very easy for us to get in our own way, you know, like our own kind of thoughts and kind of beliefs can sort of create this barrier between what we want and what we're trying to get. And I think especially for me, I kind of had this negative kind of cycle that kind of fed into itself, you know, and the more that you kind of ruminate about these kind of negative and things and you kind of get scared about it, the more it kind of perpetuates it and grows it more. And it's kind of like, um, the, like a monster in the dark or a monster in the closet kind of thing, you know, like where you're, um, <laughs> where you're like, <laughs> this sounds, this sounds kind of personal. I've like made it really specific now. Um, it's like where you are constantly in fear or there's something in there and then the more you fear, the more you kind of get anxious and then the more you don't want to move and then it kind of per perpetuates it and you keep getting scared and then it kind of becomes a part of it. And these kind of, I know it kind of sounds weird, but these kind of intentions that we're putting out that's kind of what we're getting back, you know, that's kind of what we're attracting, you know. Like if you're, if you're scared or fearful that something will happen, it most likely will. Like, and then sometimes things will happen and then you'll say, oh, that's kind of why, you know, because I'm a fearful, anxious person. So that's why this happened, you know. And then we kind of get locked into these ideas or beliefs and kind of get really like narrow minded and think, oh, this is just kind of how life is. And for so long for me, I think with music, I just felt like I was just this kind of sad, lonely person. That's kind of how my life would be. And it was like these blinders were on and I was just perpetuating this cycle, you know, and everything that I was doing was kind of feeding into that and kind of affirming that. And without me actually wanting that, I was kind of manifesting that into my reality and that sounds kind of like woo woo like oh manifestation oh you're gonna attract these kind of things but it's it's kind of true you know there's a it rings with the sense of truth like if you really listen to it and you kind of pay attention you realize oh well you know i was kind of creating this for myself and that was kind of influencing my behaviors and then that was feeding into it this identity that I created and that kind of affirmed it and then it kind of kept growing along with that. And that this is a realization that I came to recently and I just realized, oh, I was so scared of, uh, of this one thing so much that I kind of created the situation that I was scared of. And I realized that I was attracting that because I was so fearful and anxious that that was what was being shown and that was what how I kind of behaved and that kind of you know that kind of led to the results that I was scared of you know you being scared of those results is going to create your behaviors that's going to create those results you know kind of like what your mind focuses on is what you're kind of going to get and this is how we can get in our own way. And I really, it, it kind of sucks because it's like, oh, I don't want it to be me that's doing wrong. You know, it's like, it's, surely it's the world. Surely it's something that's happening elsewhere. But then if you kind of just look and you see and you're like, oh shit, <laughs> like it actually was me that was getting in the way. It actually was me that was kind of creating this for myself. And then you realize like, oh, well, that's why I've kind of been feeling negative. That's why my life hasn't been great. It's kind of my fault, you know, and that sucks. It's like, oh shit, well, I've just been spending all this time just feeding my negative kind of beliefs and my negative ad identity and kind of, you know, rather than focusing on the things that I want and trying to reach towards that. And it's not to say that you should deny kind of these things or these emotions that pop up because you certainly should. I think that's important. It's just that you can't get too attached to them and you've got to kind of understand them and then look at them and kind of see, oh, so this is what it is. But then 
I guess we could just kind of learn through experience and through doing things rather than thinking and like thinking about things and kind of just excessively reading or trying to get knowledge you know we kind of got to put that knowledge to use you know there's a quote by Bruce Lee willing is not enough we must do knowledge is not enough we must apply something like that I probably butchered it but anyway that's how I'm going to leave this video thank you for watching if you did and see you in the next one